phishing. Phishing is when hackers trick you into giving them your personal information by pretending to be someone you trust, like your bank or a social media site. They might send you fake emails or messages that look real but aren't. Spear phishing. Spear phishing is a more targeted version of phishing. Instead of sending out generic fake messages, Hackers aim their attacks at specific people or companies. They often know a lot about their target, making their messages even more convincing. Whaling. Whaling is fishing for the big fish. Important people like CEOs or executives. Hackers craft highly personalized messages to trick these high-profile targets into revealing sensitive information. Malware. Malware is bad software designed to harm your computer or steal your information. It includes things like viruses, trojans, and ransomware. Think of it as a digital disease that infects your computer. Ransomware. Ransomware locks up your files or system and demands money to unlock them. It's like a digital kidnapper holding your data hostage until you pay a ransom. Spyware. Spyware secretly watches what you do on your computer and sends that information to the hacker. It can track your keystrokes, capture screenshots, or even turn on your webcam without you knowing. Trojan Horse. A Trojan horse is software that looks useful or fun, but hides harmful code. Once you install it, the hidden malware inside can take over your computer. It's like opening a friendly-looking GIF that has a nasty surprise inside. Worms. Worms are programs that copy themselves and spread across networks without any help from you. They move from computer to computer, causing damage along the way, like a digital pest infestation. SQL injection. SQL injection is a trick hackers use to get into a website's database by inserting malicious code. This can let them steal, change, or delete data. It's like finding a backdoor into a secure building. Cross-site scripting, XSS. XSS is when hackers put harmful code into a website, which then runs in your browser when you visit. This can steal your information or hijack your session. Denial of service, DOS, in distributed denial of service, DDoS. DOS and DDoS attacks flood a website or network with so much traffic that it crashes and stops working. Man in the middle, MITM. In a MITM attack, Hackers secretly intercept communication between two parties. They can steal or change the information being exchanged, like someone eavesdropping on your phone call and altering what's being said. Brute force attack. Brute force attacks are all about guessing passwords. Hackers try every possible combination until they get the right one. It's like trying every key on a keyring until you find the one that opens the door. Prudential stuffing. Hackers use stolen usernames and passwords from one site to try and log in to other sites, betting that people use the same passwords everywhere. Zero day exploit. A zero Zero day exploit takes advantage of a security flaw that no one knew about before. It's like discovering and using a secret weak spot in a fortress before anyone else realizes it's there. Social engineering. Social engineering tricks people into giving away their personal information or doing something they shouldn't. Hackers might pretend to be someone you trust or create a sense of urgency to get you to act quickly. Keylogging. Keyloggers record everything you type on your keyboard, capturing passwords and other sensitive info. It's like having someone secretly watching over your shoulder and writing down everything you say. Session hijacking. Session hijacking takes over a user's session after they've logged into a secure system. Hackers can then pretend to be that user and access their data. DNS spoofing. DNS spoofing tricks your computer into connecting to a fake website instead of the real one. It's like changing the road signs to send you to the wrong place without you knowing. Watering hole attack. In a watering hole attack, Hackers infect a website that a particular group of people often visit. When the group members visit the site, their computers get infected. It's like poisoning a common drinking spot to affect everyone who goes there. Clickjacking. Clickjacking hides malicious actions under legitimate buttons or links on a website. When you click, you end up doing something harmful without realizing it. It's like placing a fake button over a trapdoor. Rogue software. Rogue software pretends to be helpful, like fake antivirus programs, but it's actually harmful. It tricks you into installing it and then causes damage or steals your data. Eavesdropping. Eavesdropping attacks listen in on private communications, stealing information as it's sent. Exploit kits. Exploit kits are tools that automate the process of finding and exploiting vulnerabilities in software. Hackers use these kits to launch multiple attacks quickly. Drive-by download. Drive-by downloads happen when you visit a compromised website and malicious software is downloaded to your computer without your knowledge. It's like stepping on a nail while walking and getting hurt without realizing it. Rootkits. Rootkits are programs that give hackers control over your computer without you knowing. They hide deep within your system 
making them hard to detect. Backdoor. A backdoor is a hidden way into a system that bypasses normal security checks. Hackers use backdoors to sneak in without setting off alarms. Botnets. Botnets are networks of infected computers controlled by hackers. They can be used to launch large-scale attacks or send out spam emails. Password spraying. Password spraying is when hackers try a few common passwords on many accounts instead of trying many passwords on one account. It's like testing a few popular keys on many locks, hoping one will fit. Cryptojacking. Cryptojacking secretly uses your computer's resources to mine cryptocurrency. You might not even notice except that your computer is running slower. Firmware hacking. Firmware hacking targets the low-level software that controls hardware components. It can give hackers deep access to your system. 32. Cross-Site Request Forgery, CSRF. CSRF tricks you into performing actions on a website you're logged into without your knowledge. It's like having someone forge your signature to authorize a transaction. Privilege Escalation. Privilege Escalation is when hackers gain higher access levels than they're supposed to have. This can allow them to control more of the system. It's like finding a janitor's key that opens all the doors in a building. 34. Command Injection. Command injection lets hackers run dangerous commands on a server by exploiting poorly coded applications. It's like finding a way to slip instructions to a machine that it wasn't meant to follow. Session fixation. Session fixation forces a user to use a specific session ID, which the hacker can then hijack. It's like assigning someone a ticket that you can later claim and use yourself. Shoulder surfing. Shoulder surfing is the simple act of looking over someone's shoulder to see what they're typing or viewing. Blue snarfing. Blue snarfing is the unauthorized access of information from a Bluetooth enabled device. Hackers can steal contacts messages, or files without you knowing. Bluejacking. Bluejacking sends unsolicited messages to Bluetooth-enabled devices. It doesn't steal information but can be annoying and intrusive. It's like slipping a note to someone without their consent. Scene swapping. SIM swapping tricks your phone provider into transferring your phone number to a hacker SIM card. This lets them intercept your messages and calls. Jailbreaking slash rooting. Jailbreaking or rooting removes software restrictions on a device, giving the user or hacker full control over the system. Stay safe and see you next time.